Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Training Videos. In this video, I want to do a quick training on how to get into your either 986 receiver or your R780. This one being an R780 because it's got the uh, gray top right there. I want to show you how you could access it with your phone through the Wi-Fi if you needed to. If you didn't have your data collector or all you needed to do is actually just get into it, change a radio channel or whatever it may be. As soon as you actually get this flashing light right here for the Wi-Fi, you're good to go. If you don't have this flashing Wi-Fi, you can either turn it off, turn it back on. In absolute worst case, you may have to reset the receiver to get it, get it to flash. And the reset the receiver is to push and hold the power button for almost 25 to 30 seconds. If you do that, it is going to wipe out any of your auto base uh, settings, but that is an option. But once you get your Wi-Fi setting right here, you can go into the settings on your phone and just go to your Wi-Fi in your general there and actually look for the last four of the serial number, which this one is 1438. So I'm going to click on that. And if it's the very first time you've ever been into your receiver, the default settings are pretty easy. The password to actually connect to it is lowercase a, b, c, d, e, and then repeat that a, b, c, d, e. So a, b, c, d, e twice. Go ahead and hit join. It'll actually do a connection through the Wi-Fi. Then this screen should pop up if it's a newer version that'll actually allow you to go to the website itself. You can go ahead and do it this way. If not, and if it doesn't bring that main screen up, all you do is open up a web browser and you can see here at the bottom, you just type in 192.168.142.1. So that's the IP address for this. If this is the first time you're getting into your receiver, the username and password is also very simple in here. The username is lowercase admin, and then the password is lowercase password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Go ahead and hit OK, and then you can actually, if you want on your phone, have this update password to keep it on your phone here. Now, what it may do after this is you can see that I don't have the menu on the left side. I'm kind of locked out from doing whatever I need in here because the newer versions are going to ask us to update the password to change it from what that default one was. So in the top right here where it's kind of like a, uh, looks like a square box with a green arrow in it. If you click that, all you have is the security button that comes up. So if you hit security and hit initialize, it's going to want you to actually change the password. So on that one, obviously it left that grayed out for admin. So in password, put in the old password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, and then put in whatever password you want for your company. I'm gonna actually pick my own, choose my own here, and we do Intermountain One with a capital I. Once you're done, you can go ahead and hit update. And remember, I'm doing all this from my phone. You can do this from your computer or your laptop or a, a tablet if you need to. It's all through Wi-Fi. I'm just showing you a quick, easy way to get to it since I don't have the data collector. I'm gonna update my password there. So now, after I save that, we can go ahead and actually hit the green arrow in the top right. And now I have all the menus that I need. So now I can go in and do whatever I needed to depending on what's going on. There's This video would be way too long if I get went through every single one of these. But there's a couple in here, for example, this one that says receiver configuration. That one gives you kind of a summary. Um, there's a couple in here like general. So if you go in here, this general would be the one where you could check your auto base settings. So right there, this one's on base mode and auto base is set to enable with without warning. I could go ahead and change that to enable with warning is what I usually do and then hit OK. Once we've done that, we can go into some other settings in here. For example, the radio. If I go into radio here, we can go to radio configuration and see what channel it's on. Currently right now it's on 9. It's just as simple as changing it in here if you needed to. Let's say all of a sudden you needed 11. Whatever you need to, without hooking up to it with your data collector, it's totally capable of doing it through your phone or any device if you needed to. If you had application files, you can go into application files and actually pick one for the file name, which would be any of your auto-based settings. So don't feel like you have to use your data collector for some of these basic settings in here. But just remember the, the way to get in it the first time through admin and password and then change it. 
and what the web page is uh, if you need to get in it that way. But thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain.